Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Reuters is now reporting that within the last few minutes that the volcano on La Palma has erupted. Previously, residents have been told to prepare for an evacuation, and I'm not sure about how large the eruption is. Evidently, fountains of lava have shot out plumes of smoke and ash into the air from uh, the caldera of Cumbe Vieja. This has only happened within the last few minutes, so I'm letting you know. People have been told to pack up clothes, food, insurance cards, medical, um, anything they might need for medical insurance or medicines they may need and to prepare for an evacuation at any time. The web pages for notifications is not working from IGN. All I get is loading, loading, constantly loading in a blank web page. So anyways, I'm going to show you what I put together before this happened. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Here's an update what's going on there at the Canary Islands at the island of La Palma. There is a rumor going around about evacuations, but I have not been able to confirm them. Here is an image of the recent earthquakes, 1,358 events of a magnitude 3.0 or greater, I believe. USGS is not covering any of these earthquakes that are occurring there. Why? I don't know. Here you can see for the past week they have zero earthquakes reported. The report from IGN states that the seismic activity of Cumbre Vieja, which began on the 11th, has accelerated in the last hours with intense surface seismicity between 0 and 6 kilometers. So they're getting shallower. So that would be about 3.7 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Numerous earthquakes felt by the population up to this moment and since the beginning of the series, 6,632 earthquakes have been detected, of which 1,317 have been located, meaning they know exactly where they occurred. They didn't start tracking the activity of volcanic eruptions or earthquakes there in the Canary Islands until the 1980s. That's when they first put the first monitors in. As of this report, it says of the 19th, I don't know what time of the day, which is Sunday. They said today, 327 earthquakes have been detected, of which 86 have been located with a maximum magnitude of a 3.8. And that occurred at 1016 Universal Time, which was widely felt on the island at a depth of only 2 kilometers. So that would be 1.2 miles below sea level. EMSC said it was a magnitude 3.6. They greatly downgraded it. And they've done that to other earthquakes in the past, just like USGS does. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Yeah, this is close to the eruption of 1430 and 1440. Let me bring it out for you. Yeah, I was tracking uh, the magnitude threes or greater, but as you can see, yeah, there's far too many to be tracking now. Maximum vertical deformation has increased to around 15 centimeters. So that is almost six inches that the island has risen where the activity is occurring. This website IGN is where I got my start in learning volcanology. I just love their website. On the side, it shows the depth of the magma. At the top, it shows the earthquakes. And here we can see the heat as it comes up. And let me pull it over here for you. It also shows you the current earthquakes. Now, this is universal time, I believe. UTC, it says it right there. This is all that it's occurred within today's universal time. You used to be able to click on each line and break it down to look at each 
individual line and signature. You can't do that anymore. So that right there would be the magnitude 3.8 earthquake. They use like a traffic light for the different types of warning and it's still currently at yellow. Here we have a uh, deformation that's currently happening on the island. Now this is from the 17th. It's not up to date. This is acquired by GPS and SAT-1, I believe, uh, satellite um, detection of what's going on there on the island. Here you can see the depth of the earthquakes is getting really shallow. Here you can see the depth of the earthquakes are getting much shallower. A magnitude 2, another 2. Um, that one was deep. 10, uh, 4, 1. Uh, three. The greatest threat for this island is for the side to fall off into the ocean and create a huge tsunami. The island was built up by volcanic eruptions, not so much of lava, but of very brittle pumice piled on top of each other. So unstable is this pumice, they actually have warnings to hikers not to go off certain areas of the trail because of, yeah, falling, creating a slide. Um, yeah, it's very dangerous. This here is an image from yesterday, the activity, and you can only see, oh, one large one. You can see it settled down, and then today it just started acting up again. Another image from yesterday is broken down into um, just so many hours, it doesn't show the whole day. See, this is one hour of imaging. See that there between 23 and 24 hour. Yeah, um, that's all I have for you right now. I'm having problems with their page loading. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, um, yeah, put those comments down below. Yeah, heaven help all the countries around the Atlantic Ocean if this thing decides to fall off into the ocean. Um, I've talked about the dike intrusion, how the magma can come up and interact with uh, the water and then cause these uh, explosions. And yeah, that could cause it to fall off too. So what are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.